Hello everyone. So let's see today what is division restoring algorithm for unsigned integers. So now let's see the introduction of the algorithm. A division algorithm provides a quotient and a remainder when we divide two numbers. They are generally of two type: slow algorithm and fast algorithm. Slow division algorithm are restoring, non-restoring, non-performing restoring, SRT algorithm, and under fast it comes Newton, Raphson, and Goldsmith. Restoring division is usually performed on the fixed point fractional numbers. When we perform division operations on two numbers, the division algorithm will give us two things: that is, namely the quotient and remainder. This algorithm is based on the assumption. that the denominator and numerator are always greater than 0 so now here is the diagram so in this diagram register q contains quotient and register a contains remainder here n bit dividend is loaded in q and divisor divisor is loaded in m value of register is initially kept 0 and this is the register whose value is restored during iteration due to which it is named restoring so this was the introduction of restoring algorithm now let's see the further part that are the steps of the restoring algorithm hello everyone myself nikhil mave now we are going to study flow chart of restoring division algorithm the register are initialized where n is number of bits a is initialized to 0 m is divisor and q is equal to dividend then we have to shift a and q register in the left side in single unit after that we have to perform a is equal to a minus m and if the value of most significant bit of a is 0 then less then least significant bit of q is taken to be 1 and if the most significant bit of a is equal to 1 then the least significant bit of q is taken to be 0 and we have to restore the value of a and the value of n is decremented if the value of n becomes 0 we have to stop otherwise we have to repeat from step 2 at the last we have quotient in register q and remainder in register a now let's see the steps of restoring division algorithm in step 1 the registers are initialized with the corresponding values q is dividend m is divisor a will be equal to 0 and n is the number of the bits in dividend in step 2 register a and q is shifted left as if they are a single unit in step 3 the content of register m is subtracted from a and the result is stored in a then in step 4 the most significant bit of a is checked if it is 0 the least significant bit of q is set to 1 otherwise if it is 1 then the least significant bit of q is set to 0 and the value of register a is restored that is the value of a before the subtraction with m next the value of the counter n is decremented in step 6 if the value of n becomes 0 we get of the loop otherwise we repeat from step 2 and finally the register q contain the quotient and a contain the remainder So we have seen the flowchart and all the steps of division restoring algorithm. Now let's apply that algorithm to the example 11 divided by 3. Here dividend is a 11 in a binary form. It is represented by 1011. Divisor is a 3, which is 00011. Now if we have to convert m into minus m, then first we have to take one's complement. Then after we have to take two's complement. After that we get 11101. Here n is a number of bit in a dividend here dividend has a 4 bit so we have taken the value of n as a 4 so first step is to initialize so here second step is to shift left a q here all the digits are shifted to the left by one bit so third step is a equal to a minus m this is the value of a and this value of minus m so after adding that we get this value here the most significant bit is a 1 so if we have a most significant bit as a 1 then we have to do q of 0 equal to 0 and we have to restore a so after doing a plus m we got 00001 so 
this whole cycle will repeat here also till the value of n become 0 so let's do all the step again so here we have to shift left aq then we have to do a equal to a minus m after that we get this value after that here most significant bit is a 1 so here also we have to do this step so therefore we write 0 here after that a plus m gives output as a 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So now the value of n becomes 3 minus 1 equal to 2. So in the first step we have to shift left aq. Uh, then next step we have to do a equal to a minus m. So we get output as 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Here at most significant bit is a 0. So if we have most significant bit as a 0 then we have to do q of 0 equal to 1. So therefore 1 is written here. So after the after this, uh, we have to repeat this whole cycle again. So, first step is shift left aq, second step is a equal to a minus m. Here also, most significant bit is a 0. So, we have to write 1 here. So, that's it. This is how this process ends because the value of n becomes 0 here. So, we get the remainder as a 2 and a quotient as a 3. Thank you. So let's take another example so that the concept will stick to your mind. So here we have 14 by 5. So let's calculate the binary format of dividend and divisor. We will also calculate minus n for the further simplifications. So let's initialize in the table format. Dividend is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Divisor 1, 1, 0. And set accumulator to the 0 and count to the 4 so let's shift left a and q so we get 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 and a question mark we will re we will re replace it after um, performing a is equal to a minus 1 so after performing we get accumulator as 1 1 1 0 0 as 1 1 1 0 0 represents a negative number we will will perform this box so after replacing question mark with 0 restore here for the count is equal to 3 we will again get a negative number so we will again restore a now we get at the count 2 we get a new situation where we got a positive number after um, performing a, a, a to the a minus 1 m so we will replace question mark according mm. to this condition q naught is equal to 1 and again for the count 1 we get the previous situation as that is for s yes So again after restoring a, at last we get remainder as 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, which represents 4 and 0, 0, 1, 0 which represents 0 uh, which represents 2. So let's see the summary. In this video we have studied introduction of restoring division algorithm, flowchart of algorithm, steps of this algorithm, some examples of restoring division algorithm. Also if you find the video informative. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.